Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This will be a recap of week three's go live session. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys examples of what you guys did for your grade level, and we'll go from there. In this video, it's a pre-recording of this past Wednesday's go live session. What we did was we started off our lessons for the self-portraits in a more advanced way. So we started off with the eye, and then we finished off with the nose, and that took about 15 minutes. So next week, we should be doing some more body parts. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this pre-recording of this unedited footage from this past Wednesday, and I'll see you guys next time. So if you have a piece of paper, you can follow along, and you want to divide your paper in half just like how I am. If you just want to fold it in half, it's fine. Um, mine's in a sketchbook, so I don't have that ability. So I'll just draw a line down the middle. So the reason what, uh, the, uh, what we're doing today is we're going to be starting off uh, some ideas for self-portraits because when I looked at YouTube, uh, only about 18 of you guys watched the video. So 18 out of all of fifth grade has, <laughs> has watched the video for this week, and it's about portraits. So we've been doing self-portraits as how we do with every single grade. So what we're going to do is that we're going to try to get better at it by teaching you guys a couple things. So I'm going to teach you guys again with some more advanced techniques how to draw the eye. And I'm also going to teach you guys with some more advanced techniques how to draw the nose. Okay? And you don't have to label your paper if you don't want to, but that's how I'm going to do it. So on this side, it's going to be the eye. This side is going to be the nose. I'm going to be doing about six minutes for each. Okay? So if you have a piece of paper, you can follow along. If you don't have a piece of paper, it's okay. All right. So um, I'm going to do this in pencil a little bit. So when people do eyes, I know it's kind of not focusing. Sorry about that. All right. All right so when some sometimes when people do eyes, they kind of kind of go like this, like that. Some people go like that. Some people like go like. Hold on, let me show you guys another type of eye. Some people go like this, like really like anime style, and that's not really what I want for self portraits. <laughs> like that anime style. Some people go like that. Uh, what's another type of eye? I don't even know. Um, sometimes people go like really, really, really circular like this, kind of like a cartoon. Uh, that's okay when it comes to cartoon, but when it comes to real life self-portraits, uh, that's not what we're aiming for. So for eyes, we don't want to do that. So for real eyes, um, I am going to be doing this in black marker um, just so it shows up better on video, but on certain, certain parts, I'm going to be doing it in pencil. Now the first step to doing an eye, I want to take my marker out, is that you want to do the top lid of your eye just like this. So this part's going to be the corner of my eye, and it's going to be where my ear is over here. So I'm going to do a curve up and down like this. And then again, this is going to be the corner of my eye over here. So I'm just going to put an arrow, corner of my eye. And it's going to be the outside corner. And then I'm going to start my other side of my football, of my eye. On this side, I'm just going to curve this way, and curve up, and attach it. Notice how there's a little bit of an overhang of the top one. The top one overhangs a little bit, which is fine. And that's how it should be. So if you ever looked in a mirror, like really, really up close, that's what it looks like. All right, I'm going to draw my tear duct. So whenever you guys cry or tear up, your tear duct is right around here. Just like that. And also, when you guys look really close in the mirror, you will be able to see your lower eyelid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a super, super thin, super thin, Line towards the bottom, going all the way across, and meeting up towards there. There we go. Now, this is going to be a realistic eye, just making sure you guys understand that. So with that said, I am going to take a pencil. And just to prove you guys a point, um, we all have eyeballs. Eyeballs are round, so I'm just going to draw real, nice and light. You don't have to draw this part. But to prove you guys a point, so the eyeball's inside the socket, and then there's an iris. So the iris looks like this. And circular as well. However, the iris is not always seen. So some people draw a circle like this, like how we did over here. I can't do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw what I could see from the eyelid. And that's only this much of the circle. Just like that. So again, the pencil line over here, you can't see because it's underneath the eyelid. And obviously, the whole entire eyeball, you can't see because it's inside your head. If that makes sense. All right. Next step, this is the iris where the color is. You have an inner part. This part is called the pupil. So I'm going to draw another circle, but this time I can see the whole thing. Draw like that. But in order to make it look more realistic, 
sometimes in the ayah, there's always a shine. So that shine is also known as a highlight. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to draw a shape of a bean on my eye, just like this. Shape of a bean on my eye, just like that. And then anything inside that bean, I'm going to erase, just like this. So it looks like a bean attacking the eye, which it should be because that's how you draw the highlight. Now, with that said, I'm going to take my black marker. I'm going to outline this part right here of the pupil because that's all black. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill that whole entire section with black. Try to do this as best as I can because I don't want to waste my marker. There we go. All right, there we go. Just like that. All right, now, since my eye has color, um, you can pick any color you want, or you can just do in pencil. Pencil's fine, too. Um, if you didn't know, your iris has lines going towards the middle. So what I'm going to do with my iris is that I'm going to take my brown marker. I'm going to try to draw lines going towards the center, towards the center. However, you remember that little bean that we did? You're going to try to avoid it as best as you can. So I'm going to try to avoid that bean that I drew earlier. Because that's going to be the highlight. Boom. So that looks like a highlight. If you want to add more of a color, you can. I'm going to add a little bit more of maybe, uh, let's see, this color. Just to add more of a variety inside my eyeball. There you go. And avoid the center as well. There you go. All right. Now we have that part of the eye. Now let's keep going. All right. When it comes to the eye, you will see your eyelashes. So let's start off with the eyelash over here. The eyelashes start from over here. It kind of curves down. Just like that. Some people don't see that. I do. I see it in my eye. And on the top, I'm just going to go curving up. Sometimes it's covered by your eye like this. Mine kind of goes like that and then kind of curves up like that. I don't have that much of a long eyelashes, but from looking from far away, you can kind of see that much. Just like that. Okay. Now, next step. To make it look more realistic, the eyeball, it's not just a flat circle. It's actually a sphere. So in order to mimic a sphere inside this eye socket, I did draw this part of the sphere on the outside, which you don't need to draw, but at least we can uh, kind of get a gist of where the highlights are. So I'm going to go on this side of the eye, create a little bit of a shadow, and on this side, more of the shadow as well. So if you want to color dark, you can, because, again, it's supposed to be a sphere or a ball in the inside of your eye, and then your, your eyelids just kind of cover the the ball like that and if you want to use your finger to blend you can but you will get graphite in your hand so make sure you don't get your keyboard messy at all or anything like that just like that ta-da now here comes some really cool tips if you guys did not know now since it's an eyeball socket sometimes people like use the outside circle over here as reference to where they shade so if i shade over here on this side like this and I shade on this side of the sh of the sphere like this. It's a good way how to tell where the eyelid eyelid is, just like that. And if I do the same thing on the bottom, I can do the exact same thing on the bottom. Let's use my finger to smudge a little bit. Ta-da! Now it looks like a proper eye. And then if I want. Again, I was saying this, the nose is over here. I'm just going to add a little bit of a duct over here like that. And then if you want, you can kind of add this part over here, the bridge of the nose if you want, and ta-da. There you go. And then we draw the nose later on. So anyways, that's how I normally draw an eye. And you can add the eyebrow later on. I might as well add a little bit of an eyebrow, of as much as I can fit. Of course, my eyebrows is not that thin. I have a more of a triangle eyebrow, so let me go a little bit higher. And if I look from far away from my picture, it should look more correct. All right, now I only have three minutes. I did not see the, my time right now. Um, so uh, you don't have to do the nose if you don't want to, but I'm going to do the nose super fast, okay? Just to save time. So for the nose, um, some people draw noses like this. Some people draw noses like this. And some people draw noses like this, kind of, like with a little bit of a anchor right there. For fifth grade, I taught you guys, or for fourth grade, I taught you guys how to draw the line down the middle or down the bottom, or that's where the nose ends. And I taught you guys how to draw three circles, 
you remember this from fourth grade, then great. If you don't remember, I'm going to reteach it to you guys right now. So this is my first circle. My first circle is going to be the ball of the front of my nose. And then the two other circles are going to be overlapping. And they're going to be on each side. These are going to represent my nostrils. And I apologize for going fast, but I'm running out of time. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my marker. And I'm going to draw or curve, or sorry, outline the bottom half of that middle circle. Just like that. And then I'm going to create a wing going outwards towards those other circles like that. Okay? Next step, I'm going to create semi lines on the side to represent the uh, outside sections over here. And then on top of the circle, I'm just going to kind of curve my line up. So that's the gist of the nose. It's all about shading at the moment. And I apologize if I'm going too fast, but I'm running out of time here. So I'm just going to shade the inside nostrils right here with a pencil. And then depending on what you see in a mirror or by memory, uh, I like to shade the bottom part of the nose as well. And then outside of these circles, I like to shade a little bit as well right here. And then again on the other side as well. And then when it comes to the bridge of the nose, sometimes people like to shade on the other side and go all the way up. And sometimes people like to give a shade underneath the nose as well and then on each side of the circles, just like this. I apologize I went too fast in the nose, but the time now is uh, 129. So what I'm gonna do, if you guys wanna unpin me from your screen, you can. I'm going to change my camera to camera one. And then if you wanna share your picture with the camera, you can, so that way everyone can see. So if you wanna unpin me, you can. Uh, here's my face. And there we go. So hopefully you guys enjoy that lesson. The time now is uh, 129. Uh, if you don't have time, and great. I see Gabriel has me showing his eye. Good job. I see some other people showing me their drawings. Awesome job, guys. I think you guys did a great job. Oh, and don't forget, uh, you guys have until 120, I believe, to fill out your survey on your classroom. So make sure you do that before you log off for the day. Uh, that's how we take attendance. So make sure you do that. Okay, so with that said, uh, that's the mic off sign, sorry. That said, uh, you guys can sign off. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys watch my videos. There's only 18 of you guys watching the videos. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. Bye. See you guys. All right, let me just end this recording. Bye, guys. All right, recording has officially stopped.